Sorry about the lighting, but it's dark out here right now, obviously. I'm getting ready to do some night herping, as they say. Um, so, let's go. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. And my first find of the night is this massive slug. I'm not sure what species, but... That is one thing, and my hand is shaking for some reason. Yep, a very big slug. Here's my thumbnail for comparison. So, yeah. Anyways, to the pond. I'm not quite sure what kind of frog it is. It's got sort of spots like maybe it's a leopard frog, but I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look at my amphibian guide here in a second. Um, but it's got green around the lip, so... We shall see. Another green frog, rather darkly colored one. Here you go. Not as big as the other one, but definitely looks uh, like the maybe the biggest one I've caught tonight. Oh yeah, definitely the biggest one. <laughs> a very large one. Biggest frog I've ever caught, actually. Oh, yep, another very large green frog. And I better not see any comments on this video saying that this guy would be good eating. Frogs are cute. Whoa. So I think we're going to head next is up by our runoff creek underneath our light and fire driveway because I've found salamanders there before as well as toads but it's also a good place okay it's also a good place to find some spiders believe well it's some kind of wolf spider but I think it might be a male just judging by the abdomen I can't really tell from the pedipalps too well they're not bulbous but with some spiders they're not bulbous some spiders, the only way to tell is the abdomen, or coloration, or size. I'm gonna go let this guy go, before he gets mad enough that he bites me. Okay, I'll just leave him there. He'll crawl away. Oh, oh he's, on, he's on the camera. Hey, come here. And now he's on the ground. Come here. I need to show your pedipalps. Seriously? Just be calm. There, you can see how the pedipalps are bulbous. I've only seen these two other times in my life. I got a 
basket. The critter keeper. Going for it. But yeah, that is a very, very nice find. I've only seen orange salamanders two other times in my life. Two other times. Let's see if I can turn them this way. There we go, that's a good shot. So yeah, this guy is a very exciting find for me. Very excited. For now, I'll set him down there. Or actually, I'll, I'll probably put a tiny bit of water in there. You might be able to kind of see his underside here. I believe it is a spring peeper. And they are classified under tree frogs. Uh, and you can see why, because he's climbing up the side of that like no problem. You're climbing the way there is no way out. Come on. Come on, little guy. Oh, oh, oh. There he goes. Yep, there he is. Hopefully he doesn't jump onto the lens. Yep, one spring peeper. Now for the cave salamander. He's a lot calmer than a lot of other salamanders I've held. Yeah, he's definitely a whole lot calmer than other salamanders I've held. A whole lot calmer. But yeah, I'm gonna go let this guy go. Oh, I think that's all I'm going to find tonight. So, I guess that is all. Um, be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. I'm sorry if the camera qual if the camera quality was terrible. Um, because this is my first, oops, because this is my first time doing this with a camera and I don't have a microphone at the moment, so. Okay, you are a big one. See, you're at the inch mark. Uh, so you are, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, keep your legs extended. Uh, you are probably eight, eight and a half with your legs extended. Very, very big female. Eight and a half inches with the legs extended and she's actually got some scars on her. She's been around for a long time. One right here and some scratches it looks like. And it was all healed up. And even one on her head, it looks like. She's old. Okay, I was getting ready to head down to the light. And this guy landed on my arm. Or girl, I'm not sure if it's a guy or a girl. It's hard to tell with moths. But yeah, being quite calm, all things considered. focus yes there it goes but yeah one moth 